I am Professor Fabrizio Alcázar at the University of Illinois at Chicago, Department of Disability and Human Development. I am the principal investigator of this project, which is the Chicago Land Arosin Initiative, funded by the U.S. Department of Labor Office of Disability and Employment Policy. This is a very important project for us because we are granting opportunities and promoting employment experiences for young men and women with disabilities who are still in high school. And I'm looking to increase their experiences in employment to prepare them to transition out into the adult life. The program you are going to see is an innovative experiment in exposing youth with disabilities to employment internship opportunities. These opportunities are going to enhance their curriculum so they will be more competitive in the job market later on when they graduate from high school. The goal for the garden, for what it should look like and ultimately be is to be a learning garden, a place where students can come and class groups can come and observe and experiment with growing plants and vegetables, as well as just kind of a nice, calm outside space where class discussions could be held. My name is Nancy Zook and I'm the Art Teacher and Sustainability Coordinator at CCA. I think what's most important about this program is that the students are gaining confidence by getting the experience of actually doing some things on their own in a job setting. So many of our kids are afraid to do something wrong and so they're just a bit paralyzed waiting for someone to tell them step by step how to do something. This gives them some freedom and an opportunity to make some mistakes and learn that they should go ahead and make those attempts and learn from those attempts because that's how you gain confidence and that's really what they need to be able to go out and get a job and be functional and successful in society. My name is Dion Morris and I am the new principal of CCA Academy. Ultimately we hope to give students a job experience. For most of our students this is the first job that they've ever had so that was important to us. Um, some of them had difficulties with that they didn't really see this as a real job because they still associated us with school. And so to work on their job readiness skills, being responsible to a supervisor, uh, working together as a team, all of those skills are skills that they'll take regardless of wherever they go and whatever they do post high school. And the ultimate outcome is the learning garden. The more things we can plant and grow that we can harvest and use for food, I think is great and uh, just feel comfortable with tools and feel comfortable with uh, things that they probably hadn't been familiar with at all. We want the kids to be able to learn and be familiar with the plants and understand it from a, a science perspective. So that's another step in the puzzle out here is making, making all this information that's around us accessible to them. It was a lot of landscaping and planning how we were gonna finish off this lot because we weren't, we've had plans and they've been in flux, but we took actually some of the student input on the design of figuring out where we were gonna put things, um, making the stepping stones. I learned how to make uh, cement with the bricks, how to put the bricks down. I do most of the, the heavy lifting. Whatever they need me to do, I'll do it. Well, I learned the, um, how to build an aquaponic system, how to harvest, and basically build using your hands. Did you help make this pond? Yes. Are there any <laughs> fish inside of it? It was one in there, but I don't see it. Mm -hmm. 
hydroponics is when you use fish waste to grow plants. You gotta make sure the tank's clean, feeding the fish every day before work and after work, and making sure like ain't no ain't no dead fish and everything's clean with the fish and the plants. sensitive to things that we had not thought about before. People talking about them or their perception of people talking about them um, and self-motivation, self-esteem that I think we need to spend a little more time working on. Yeah, it's definitely about them being able to think on their own and of course they can but they're just not confident enough to go forward with those thoughts and this is a really great opportunity for them in a comfortable setting in a somewhat familiar setting to be able to make those attempts and not be worried about whether or not the outcome is so perfect and then by that they're going to gain experience so that they can go out and make those attempts at a real job This has kept me very occupied in the mornings and stuff. I don't be having nothing to do in the morning, so this keep me occupied. And help me to make money on the side to um, help take care of my son. It taught me a lot of responsibility, like how to come to work on time, dealing with new people, how to work together, how to do teamwork. It gave them an opportunity to earn a little money which everybody, of course, wants to earn a little money. It kept them off the street from doing things that perhaps were less productive. And then again, gave them some gardening and urban agriculture sustainability experience, which for most of them, they had never had. They didn't know what that was. Um, for most of our students who are very city, they have no idea about what a garden is and, and what goes on in a garden. And so this was brand new to them. So just the mere exposure to that um, was beneficial. It is our hope to expand to other campuses that have other uh, job-related experiences for students so that students who live on the south side will be able to work on the south side, students who live on the west side will be able to come to the west side, and, and so they wouldn't have to travel necessarily across the city to just for an eight-week experience. We would like very much to be able to get to a point where we are creating a product that we could sell from some of the things that we're growing. Uh, currently, we have different ideas in mind for that, but right now what we harvest from the garden we're uh, giving away actually to a lot of our neighbors so we can meet our neighbors and start a dialogue with them about what they would like to see happen with this space. Um, and then uh, we're trying to work with our, our partner school CSW in having them use these vegetables in their cooking classes over there. I'm Francisco Alvarado, Assistant Director for the Division of Rehabilitation Services. I'm privileged and very proud to have been a part of the ODEP Addison Initiative. I think through the project, it's really taught us all a great deal in terms of how we can assist students with disabilities, improve their opportunities, and improve their quality of life as adults as they transition from school to work. Our staff have been involved in the ODA project now for over a year, and during this time, we've been able to establish pilot projects that would be creating opportunities that otherwise would not be available for students with disabilities. We're excited to be able to provide these students the opportunity to learn about the value of paid work and valuing themselves to reach their goals and their dreams. I'm happy to say that we've initiated a pilot with our partners with the University of Illinois, with ODEP, and our community, and especially the schools. And through these initiatives, I believe that we're on a path to redesigning how we provide services to students with disabilities. I think the key aspect through this process is that we need to create meaningful engagement for students and providing resources and services while the student is still in school so that they can secure the experiences they need to be successful in their future goals and careers.